Hey now, thanks for tuning in to the Race Grooves Weekend Show. Sorry for the later than usual upload. It's been kind of busy here last weekend. You know, I had my live stream. I didn't do a Race Grooves Weekend Show last weekend because I was in Vegas actually for the passing of my aunt. We had a memorial and we also had some celebration on the side. We had, you know, my wife, guess what? Those of you who tune in, my wife, she works in Nashville, Tennessee every week. Right. So she basically comes home Thursday night. And then so I see her like after nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, nine o'clock Thursday night. So basically I sit here Friday and Saturday and then Sunday whoop, back off to Nashville. And then guess what? Now they need her in India. Yeah, India. She's going to be in, in India for a month. First time she's been out of the country for her her job. And matter of fact, it's her first time to that eastern hemisphere. So. Hey, go for it, right? You get to check out the Taj Mahal and other stuff as well. Give me some cars, would you? But anyways, uh, and then this week, so because she was gone yesterday, uh, we went to a concert. Went to see uh, uh, Postmodern Jukebox was playing with Straight No Chasers. So I took her to a show. Uh, so it's been a busy couple weeks. And let's just go ahead and move on. By the way, you know, some parents... And some people are concerned about the ads that their kids see on YouTube. Well, if you let the kids watch the videos while they're logged into your account, well, YouTube knows you're 18, right? Well, if you're 18. If you're a parent and you're over 18 years old and you're watching, letting your kids watch on your account, YouTube thinks an adult's watching, right? doesn't matter if it's a kid's video or what kind of video it is. It just knows the age of the, the person who's watching or the account. So, uh, you know, they have something called YouTube Red. It's a separate app, and it's just for kids, okay? No, I'm sorry. Yeah, I could talk about that, too. YouTube, for kids, they have a YouTube Kids app, okay? So if you download that app, the kids can watch the YouTube Kids app, and definitely it'll be family-friendly there. But as far as on my channel, you know, you can also subscribe to YouTube Red for $9.99 a month, right? No ads. I've been using YouTube Bread since day one. Sometimes when I take a screenshot, you can see up in the corner, it'll say YouTube Bread. And, well, that's because I, I paid for YouTube Bread as soon as they made it available, right? I don't see any ads, but not only that, I could download videos, right? So like when I went to, went to Vegas, right? I don't have to worry about uh, internet or anything. I download the video onto my phone and I could just watch it all the time. Or, you know, sometimes you just listen to somebody talk, right? So even when I'm driving, right, I could download the video. And I don't watch the video when I'm driving, but I can hear them talking, right? So YouTube Red, the links are in the description if you want to check that out. That's up to you, you know. Oh, if, if ads don't show, I know some people are concerned, but, well, if ads don't show, how does that affect the content creator? Because you know we do this for a living, right? Uh, that's how I afford to do all this stuff, right? Well, uh, YouTube, basically, they get their almost half. Uh, they take their share and then the rest of it, they basically divide it up by the minutes watched per channel. Uh, so I get a little something if, if you let your kids watch and you got YouTube Red, okay? Just because don't, ads don't show, I get a little something. Let's go ahead and move on. Uh, sorry for the delay. Let's, oh, and that live stream, uh, over two hours. But I think if you jump to, I don't know, last 10 minutes, you can see us past 500,000 subscribers. Now, I also created a new channel. I've talked about this already. Off the pace. When I was in Vegas, um, took my wife to see a Cirque du Soleil show. Beatles. The Beatles Live. Hope. I forgot the name of the, the actual show. I think it's called Beatles Love. Anyways, they have a little shop there. So, I did an off the pegs of the store there. And uh, right next to the show uh, this week. I've been doing an off the pegs video every day. I upload a video at 8 a.m. Push it live here. Uh, Pacific time, California time, and every day I pre schedule, have something if you'd like to check them out. And the reason why I started the Off the Pegs channel because somebody was saying, Why don't you just put them on race screws? It's because I don't want to bomb race screws every day with Off the Pegs videos, right? If you like Off the Pegs, go subscribe to the Off the Pegs channel, that's what's there for you. Now, as far as uh, this coming week, uh, match, uh, yeah, Matchbox, they have now they have a camouflage set. So I'll be showing that in this upcoming week. As a matter of fact, the, the Matchbox camouflage are fantastic. They're much better than the Hot Wheels camouflage. The Matchbox, oh, by the way, they were $1.29. Uh, 
but I don't mind paying 30 cents or 30 percent extra when you get decorations this good. Look how the camouflage wraps all the way around the vehicle, right? Not like when they did with the Hot Wheels. With the Hot Wheels, it, they just temple the side or temple the top, and it's really it's patchwork. Not only that, some of the models they use don't make sense at all. So if you like Off the Pigs, subscribe to Off the Pigs. If you like track videos, I uh, track time channel is a little delayed. I, it's going to take far too long for me to get the track time channel going. So I have something that's going to be launching very soon. I already have the channel. And if you, some people already know, I let the uh, patron supporters know that uh, the new channel name, Epic Track Battles. Yep, just like Epic Rap Battles. Well, Epic Track Battles, right? Makes sense. So I'll be having track competitions. And the links for uh, all my channels are down below. I cleared off my table, my big table that I use for track time. So that's cleared off. So I should be able to get something real soon. Let's go ahead and feature some comments. You know, Truck and Tuesday, I reviewed the Majorette Porsche Transporter, racing transporter. Biker Joe 18, I have to admit, Majorette is starting to grow on me. I might need to rearrange some of my budget. budget. Yeah, you know what? Instead of buying three Hot Wheels, Buy a majorette, right? You can let some of the other stuff slide. You can make room, right? It's up to you, I'm just saying. Besides, I was at Toys R Us just this morning. Guess what? Four for $10. So that means they're $2.50 each. If you buy four, of course. Hopefully they have something that you would like. Another Truck and Tuesday video. I think this was last week I did NASCAR. It was kind of nice to check out a NASCAR hauler finally. Steve B, thanks for reviewing some NASCAR stuff. I collect haulers off and on and never open one. Thanks. Well, I'm glad I got to open it up and you got to check out some of the details. Hey, yeah, they're pretty cool. I like them a lot. Uh, probably, I'll stick with the M&M's one. Yeah, I like to like M&M's. I showed it in that truck on Tuesday. Links are in the description. Tonka Tinies. Yeah, they, guess what? Now they have colors for the garage. Just three different colors. Well, I don't know if you call them colors. Red, yellow, and gray, and black. Uh, one of the gray ones is from like series one. So the other three are new garages. So I did a video on those and uh, Jack Blackberry race crews. When you were counting the rows of three, there was a row of four in the middle. So that makes 16 cars. So I thought I'll do a little counting. It's, look, Tonka Tiny's they're for kids, right? So I thought I would do a math thing. Hey, look, they're in rows of three, three, six, nine, 12, 15. There's 15 cars. The only thing is I didn't notice that the middle row had four cars. Thanks, Jack, and everybody else who pointed that out. I'm just going to let it go. I don't feel like editing the video, re-uploading it. I'll let it go. You guys noticed. You guys know how to count. You've seen that I made a mistake, so we'll just let that one go. Now, I did a Matchbox unboxing video at the end of this week, and Logan Kim asked Ray Screws, why are Matchbox cases smaller than Hot Wheels cases? Well, if you go to the stores, you look at the peg space that they have for Matchbox compared to Hot Wheels, right? The stores sell a lot more Hot Wheels. So if a, ca a case is 72 for Hot Wheels, well, there's a lot of pegs. They can spread it out on the pegs. Stores generally don't want to peg part of the case and then take a bunch of loose cars in the back, right? For the most part, most stores want to stock it all, bust up the box, recycle the box. Well, Matchbox, they only have a few pegs, so they can't have 72 count cases. They do in Europe, they do in UK, because they're an exclusive to ASDA, but that's a different story. For the most part, you know, less peg space. You know, they, Matchbox, they don't sell as many cars as uh, Hot Wheels, so that's why the case, that's my guess, makes sense, doesn't it? That's my guess why there are only 24 count cases. Robert Flores, did anybody else notice that Quarry King is a police vehicle? How weird. And I, sure enough, I did pull one out. Yeah, it had a police decoration. Now I'm looking at that and I'm thinking, mm, I guess it's okay. I guess I guess a police could use, you know, like a, a shovel tractor or whatever you call it. Of course, it's Quarry King, work on gravel. I don't know, maybe they can use it to uh, clear the streets if it's barricaded or something. I don't know, it, makes, it could make sense, you know, I don't know. Brian Artillery, is it my wonky eyesight or does the strictly agricultural rainmaker now carry fire department markings? Now, come on, Matchbox, they wouldn't do that. Okay, they were maybe they were pushing it with the Matchbox and made it to police. They they know better. They're not going to make the uh, rainmaker a fire department decoration, would they? When you look at the blister pack, you can see in the artwork it says rescue, but I don't know what it says behind that bar. I guess i got to open one up. Let's see. Let's go ahead and swing out the arms. You know those arms, that's what they do. You 
fill the tank up with water, open up the arms, and then you get to spread out water in on the crops. That's what it, oh, oh, MBX Fire and Rescue. Come on. Oh, look, Circle Flame logo, treasure hunt. Last week I did an unboxing of uh, lots, dozens of mystery cars from 2007, 2008. 2007, that's when they had the Bugatti Bear on white and yellow. Well, thankfully, I got uh, multiples of each. That was, that was funny. That was pretty excited. And trust me, I'm getting a lot of comments on the video. Now, people ask, how do you, Mark, how do you get so many views? You know what? To be honest with you, you never know when YouTube's going to promote one of your videos, right? You never know. Sometimes you don't want them to promote it too far because then I get comments like, why is this in my feed? Why rec you could, why are you recommending this to me, right? That's okay. I'll take the views. And then when they cuss on the channel, I just delete the comment. Let it go. If they say something really bad, I know it's not the kind of person I want around. I just ban them, right? But yeah, that <laughs> hundreds of thousands of views on that mystery car unboxing. Thank you, YouTube. I appreciate it very much. And, you know, when YouTube looks at the analytics, they see people are watching many minutes. And it's very cool that I get somebody say, hey, I just watched an, I just watched an old man unbox a bunch of Hot Wheels. And I found it interesting. So that's cool. I'm glad that he enjoyed it, right? And I also get some people say, hey, race crews. I, I was a, when I was a kid, I used to watch race crews. So it's kind of neat. I'm still here, right? I've been making content since 2009 is when I count my starting point. So we're like eight years in YouTube. So it's really neat to see some uh, some people come back around. Now let's see. Fan mail. Fan mail's next. Yep. North Carolina. Got me a little letter from, from North Carolina. Let me keep the address down. I have not. I have not. I don't know what this is. Let's see. Make sure we don't show. You know, got personal information. Let me check it out. Here we go. No address. I think. I'll say his first name. Dear Race Grooves, can you use Fig Rig for one of your track time videos? I would really, would really appreciate it. Sincerely, Jackson. Well, Fig Rig, you know what? I have used Fig Rig in a uh, track time before. You know what I just realized? Why don't I just put it right here? Check them out. Here we go, fig rig. Almost forgot. Ah! Okay, one more try, no kicker. Okay, he didn't make it, but let's start from here. Let's see how well he does the spin up. Wow. I guess if you keep trying, I'll bet you he'd make it. Now, we're going to take a break coming up. Um, Mattel sent me Retro Entertainment. So, I got the one with the uh, Skyline, Snoopy, Guardians of the Galaxy, Jetsons, Batman. Ooh, I can't remember it all five. Batman v Superman got real riders, so looking good. I'm going to check those out. And uh, somebody asked, they, they wanted to see some Lamborghinis. Well, I spent all day going through all my cases getting Lamborghinis. And then when I shot the video, it went really long. So today I'm just going to show the Lamborghinis that did not appear in that eight car set. And then during the week or so, I'll put the whole video in one set video during the week. Besides, if most people already are familiar with the Lamborghini set and those eight Lamborghinis that were in the set, so it's kind of duplicitous for me to show it again here. But I will have the full dedicated video probably during the week of uh, almost all of my Lamborghinis. I forgot the Lamborghini, tuned the Lamborghini, and I'm saving my, uh, I'm saving my uh, Speed Machines Lamborghinis for when I do my Speed Machines video. Okay, I'll be right back with those videos. Once again, let me remind you that Mattel sent these to me for review. Now, the Retro Entertainment, it's been going for several years. The card art is always fantastic. It's really nice because the packages actually sit there. You can display them on the shelf. And, of course, the Nissan Skyline is going to be the pick of this litter. It's got real rider tires. Looks awesome in blue. Taillight decorations. 
Looks like I can see some headlight decorations as well. Now the Batmobile, Jetsons. These might have been released before. Snoopy is new, by the way. I'm going to open them up so you can see the difference. And Milano rounds out this batch of entertainment pieces for the Fast and the Furious. You have this Nissan Skyline. There you go. Just like I said. Tail light decorations and headlight decorations. What do you think of the, the rims and the rubber tires? Look pretty good. And check this out. Looks like I think it's a metal base. It felt like a metal base to me. Same with the uh, Batman vs. Superman Batmobile. It's got some cool black lines on top. It's very subtle. This one also has a metal base. K18 production code. So 18th week of this year, 2017. That's what the K stands for. Now as for Snoopy, check out his rubber tires. <laughs> very, very cool. And check it out. Metal base. And even his roof, his, uh, the roof that he's on, his doghouse, that's metal too. But Snoopy, meh, Snoopy, no, nope, he's got to be soft. He's made out of the same soft plastic that he was made of in the, uh, when he was in the singles, in the basic assortment. Now the Jetsons, this is not like the one that was in the basics, okay? This comes with a nice stand, no wheels, right? does not have any tires like it did when it was in the toy in the $1 basic assortment line. Pretty nice to have a stand. Same with Guardians of the Galaxy, Milano. Now this one has extra decorations compared to the basic release. And look at the stand. It says Gu Guardians of the Galaxy right on the stand. Even though you got a stand in the basic assortment, it was it was not as nice as this one. There you go. There's the five models that are in this batch of entertainment from Hot Wheels. Thanks again to Mattel for providing them for review. Hot Wheels produced an eight-car Lamborghini set. These are four of the models. The other four are in the back. They landed in the USA in 2017. I thought uh, I'd take a look at the Lamborghinis, the Hot Wheels Lamborghinis. I'll look at the, I have various colors of all those eight. How about we take a look at the Lamborghinis did, that did not show up in that eight car set. You know, they did have some Lamborghinis in the Speed Machines line. I'm going to save that for a separate video. Let's go ahead and take a look at this one. This is brand new 2016. It was a new model. This one did not appear in that set. Lamborghini Huracan LP620-2 Super Trofeo. Now, Mattel does have a Lamborghini Huracan. I'll show you that in just a moment. But this one was Super Trofeo. If you didn't know which ones appeared in this eight-car set, here are the eight Lamborghini models. They showed up outside the USA, USA like a couple months before we even got them in the USA. So it was nice for them to show up, but... The uh, Super Trofeo was not one of the cars, uh, as you've seen on the list, was not one of the models that were in the Lamborghini set. This was a 2016 new model, what a gone, Super Trofeo. This was a 2015 new model, Lamborghini Huracan, LP610-4. Uh, this is confusing. Let me go ahead and show you the, them together. This one doesn't have a wing. This one has a wing. Different uh, different models. Check out that splitter on the Super Trofeo. It sticks out there pretty far. Let me show you a few colors of the Huracan. Now I'm not going to. Uh, I don't. I'm not going to tell you the year of each one. You can do some homework and look them up. There's three different colors of the Huracan. Uh, for the Lamborghini Aventador J, you know what? There there's more than just this one color. There's like I think green and blue. But I didn't have time. I was tired. I didn't feel like going through all my cases from 2013 trying to find the other two colors. So here's a sample of Aventador J. The regular Aventador was in that set. So you'll see that in a moment. Well, you might or might not. just depends. Lamborghini Veneno. I love this car. I love this Lamborghini. I think this might have been the new model. Let's see. Yeah. New for 2014. So that's when Mattel added the Lamborghini Veneno to their Hot Wheels lineup. Really like this car, even though it doesn't do loops, because, you know, but that's all right. As a car, you know, you like collecting uh, some cars. You just like to collect, and they look fantastic in the collection. 
this is one of those cars I look forward to more there might be more colors I don't know I grabbed a couple went through all my stuff mm, that's what I found so we'll see Gallardo LP 560-4 and it gets confusing because some of the cars are so similar here we have the, the Gallardo right you have Gallardo LP 560-4 and here's this and then they come out with this one, Lamborghini Gallardo LP 570 Ford Super Legera or Legera. It's got the uh, spoiler on the back. This one, this one just looks mean. Flat black, tail light decorations. I like this one. And this one looks pretty good too. I like them both. All three have different wheels. Lace wheels on top. I haven't seen those in a long time. This is from 2010. I don't know when was the last time they released that casting. There's a look at a couple of those. And they almost have to make a bigger car. Look how it takes up the whole side there. Let's see what else. Now we're going to get into some old. Look, <clears throat> one of the early Lamborghinis. Lamborghini Diablo. And this one definitely could not appear in that because it was a final run. Yeah, Mattel put it in the final run series. Here's a look at that Lamborghini Diablo. Final run. It was 12 final runs in 2003. Not that. Look at the little text right there. 2003 is when the last appearance of the Diablo. Here's a look. At, look on top. It has the final run logo on top. 2003. Excellent color combination. Black and red. And here's a couple older releases of a Lamborghini Diablo. Now, if you hear people talk about blue cards, these are blue cards. See how they're all blue? And this one's actually a speed points card. You used to be able to save up the points for uh, different goodies. Mm, I wasn't collecting at this time, so uh, I only know from what I've learned since I started collecting in 1998. Love the Ultra Hots wheels. Very cool to collect. Here's these two. You've seen the final run. Now let's go ahead and take a look at uh, this Diablo. Here's the modern. So these are from like the 90s, I believe. We will take a look at that since these are older. Mm, da -da -da -da, looking for the trademark. Here we go. 1991. And this one, 1990 over in the corner. So these, these are all, she's 26 years old, 27 years old for those two. This Lamborghini, this is probably uh, late 90s. Number 781. Regular five-spoke wheels, but love that red color. Nice purple magenta. I don't, I'm not sure what you would call this. Again, five spoke wheels. Collector number 227. This is not a blue card. See how it fades into white? This is not a blue card. And what do we have here? A couple more Lamborghini Diablo. Blue. Got some great colors, eh? And then this one was the vert, not virtual, was it? X ray cruiser series. Actually, got some decorations on there. Not very common for a Lamborghini to get the uh, decorations. And let's see. That was it for the Lamborghini models that did not appear in the 8-car set. If you'd like to see the Lamborghinis that were in the 8-car set and some recolors, I'm going to show those in a separate video. Okay, coming up next, ask Ray Screws and various topics for us to discuss. Here we go. Last segment, Dragon Raid. They better not lose their Lamborghini license. Yeah, you know, Mattel's, their Hot Wheels division, they've had a license to do Lamborghini models for a couple decades at least, right? Who knows? Well, hopefully they'll have them for a while. They let Ferrari go. Now Maestro has Ferrari. I'm going to show what's some of the Ferrari stuff that Mattel, not Mattel, Maestro and Barago have at Toys R Us. 143 scale. You'll see that in an upcoming Off the Pegs video. You know what? If they lose Lamborghini, they'll just move on. Maybe they'll do Aston Martin or what. Who knows? You know, they're, they're dollar cars. I don't know how long they can do it. Hopefully, they can keep the Lamborghini license. I like buying Lamborghinis. It would be nice for them to get Ferrari back. I like Ferraris better, but who knows? Maybe they can do more. How about an Aston Martin set? I love Aston Martins too. Jaguars. I'd like to see a Jaguar. Did they have a Jaguar set? Porsche. They had a Porsche set. I don't think they had Jaguar yet, did they? Anyways... You know, uh, in YouTube news, real quick, you know, <laughs> there's a website called TubeFilter.com, and they had a quote from Larry Shapiro. He used to be with Full Screen a Network, and apparently he's gone on to, you know, 
something similar, but he wants to manage YouTube, something, I don't know. But there's nothing worse. It, to me, when I seen this comment right here, okay, this is a quote out of the article, right? And to me, you might read it one way, but to me, it's insulting. Because when he says that YouTubers are capable of working on tight budgets, what's he saying? It means we work for less. You can pay us less because we work on tight budgets. You know what? I just keep doing. Uh, I just keep doing rake through stuff. That's okay. You know that's how they see YouTubers. We have a we have a big audience, and we we you know we are we have connections with our fans. But oh well, I just keep doing my thing. That's all right. They can do theirs. That's all right. Now, the link for that article is down below, and also failed. In regards to is Hot Wheels going to get Monster Jam back? I don't know because on the internet, there's uh, the last news was mm, from Feld Entertainment that Feld Entertainment and Mattel announced a five year extension of Monster Jam licensing. That was back in 2013. That's not right now. Five year extension in 2013. So 2014, 15, 16, 17, 18. So Mattel, they could produce Monster, apparently, they could produce Monster Jam uh, products through next year uh i highly doubt that they're going to be producing product alongside with spin master but you never know and if you want to read that article that's in the description as well and don't forget youtube red if you want ad free experience that's uh, down below and if you have kids and you don't want them to see ads it's 10 9.99 a month it's cheap racer ryan hmm, i'm really disappointed that they lost their licensing with monster jam and this is something that i I really had to step back and think about it. But basically, the reason why this is so impactful is a whole generation of collectors, a whole generation of kids grew up on Hot Wheels Monster Jam, right? And it's like the rug being pulled out from underneath them. So I, I, I have to be careful what I say because I understand the feelings that you guys have. Me personally, I always kind of maintain a professional distance, right? Yes, I enjoy collecting them, right? But I don't get so attached because why? I don't own the brand. It's not mine. If they make something I like, I buy it, right? Uh, you know, my passion, I try to... There's other brands, right? Now, so I'm careful with what I say. But that being said, even Monster Jam itself, right? Mm, there's a lot of similarities between Monster Jam and WWF, right? I don't want to say too much because, you know, it's just like talking about the Easter Bunny or... or or Santa Claus and stuff like that. I probably don't have young, young kids getting to the end of a 25, 30 minute video. But you know what I'm talking about, right? So, you know what? It's entertainment as far as I'm concerned. It's just entertainment. And if you like it, have fun. I would never, right? I would never knock anybody. If that's what you like, I like to click toy cars. If you like Monster Jam, have at it. If you like the shows, have at it. I like the vehicles, right? You know, when I watch the, <laughs> when I watch the events, it's like, there's some similarities to the WWF here. And I'll just leave it like that. Hot Wheels Collector 59, it's just felt being stupid and wanting money. Hey, you know what? He's, he's got a lot of money invested in Monster Jam, right? Millions and millions of dollars invested in Monster Jam, right? Hey, guess what? It's his. He can do what he wants. Now, if he does something stupid, like you say, he's the one that pays for it. And if, if collectors don't, don't want to collect the vehicles, that's up to you. If people don't like the toys, you know, let it go. If people don't want to go to the events anymore, you know, they'll stop going. If you don't like seeing so many grave diggers and son of a digger at the world finals, you know, your money has power, right? Nolan Davis, I sure hope that Spin Master keeps the product as high quality as Hot Wheels does. I mean, Hot Wheels was the innovator of that type of casting. Another question is, will Spin Master have to come up with another design to the castings or will they keep the same design? Of course, I don't know. Uh, you know, I have an open line. Of, I hopefully I'll be able to have an open line of communication with Spin Master. I have contacts, but even if they we talked about something, I can't share it, right? Because it's their business. It's not my business to tell you their business, right? But you know, Sp of course, Spin Master is going to try to come out with good product, right? But it's also depends on what Feld signs off on, right? So even even if, if you don't like Spin Master stuff that they bring out, don't forget Feld signs off on that stuff, right? I said right a lot in this video, and I started noting it in this. I'm sorry. Left. Anyways, 
you know, Spin Master, they came out with these monster trucks. They look pretty good. Look pretty representative of what's in the movies, right? They're about the same size. Hopefully, did I turn off my, hopefully I didn't turn off my computer when I hit. You know, so here is Big Ugly. Now, he didn't have a name in the video, but for the toy car, they called him Big Ugly. You know what? <laughs> the thing is, comparable size to Monster Jam trucks. You couldn't even tell the difference in the sizing, right? They have the capability to come out with the trucks. Now, look what, look what they did with the shape of the truck, right? It's practically what it looked like. Uh, maybe a little more cartoony, but Spin Master can pull it off. Now, would they look like Monster Jam truck? Hot Wheels Monster Jam? Well, Hot Wheels Monster Jam trucks looks like Monster Jam trucks. So, I think they'll look. I have some other Hot Wheels Monster Jam trucks didn't really look at NEA Police. Uh, well, he is close, but what about Doomsday? It's not a recolor of NEA Police, but yet, what does Mattel do with any Doomsday? It's just a recolor. It's not even the proper, it's a little off, right? And they finally, they, they didn't even approve what was that one with the spikes? Mm -hmm. Max D? I think it's Max D with the spikes. Sorry. It is now 1030 at night here. It's starting to get a little tired. <laughs> but uh, they finally put the spikes in, what, last year? So Mattel wasn't even re really 100% with all the designs as well now, were they? But we'll see. We'll see what Spin Master does. Uh, I'm going to give them a chance. They're a big brand, okay? Believe me. The money they spent for the failed license, they want to make some money. They spent money, they want to make sure they get that money back on what they spent for licensing. Eric Videos, 239. I hope Spin Master does not suck at making Monster Jam. R.I.P. Mattel and Hot Wheels. I don't think they'll suck. I think them. Look, it's their money. I think they're going to do a good job. And if they don't, you just don't buy it. If it winds up being... <laughs> they will really be missing the boat. If they don't realize the exposure they get on YouTube, the free advertising, if they don't make those things fit on uh, tracks so people can do downhill racing, that's free promotion from them, right? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what they decide to do, right? Matthew Henderson, I wonder how much money scalpels on eBay want for the last Hot Wheels Monster Jam trucks to be released. That's going to be interesting because what always happens towards the ends of runs right mattel will release so many vehicles in a set and all of a sudden the stores don't want to carry like uh the last runs or whatever and then the last batches are hard to find those might be valuable or will people just be don't want it and it's worthless who knows who who's good nobody's gonna know my sp i'm gonna be picking up extras i'll tell you what i'm doing i'll be picking up extras of the new trucks that are towards the end of the run. From my experience as a collector, those have the best possibility to be collectibles, right? Mike Barrett was asking the same thing. If Mattel isn't going to do Monster Jam, does that mean our collections are going to be worthless or go up in value? Just wondering. It's okay to wonder, right? Because it's our money. If you spend $5 on trucks, certainly you don't want it to be worth $0.10. Cents. You'd like this to stay something in value, right? We do not know. I think, you know, look, Hot Wheels, Hot Wheels is a collectible brand. It's a lot of stuff, uh, you know, maintains decent value, right? Um, or is there just so much out there to where it's not rare, it'll never be rare, so it's supply and demand. There's still a huge supply of trucks out there. And is the de demand going to be for Hot Wheels Monster Jam? Or is it going to be next and then people only want Spin Master? Who knows? Uh, you know, people who who buy, sell, and trade, or who have been in the hobby business, probably would have a better opinion than I would on that. Mm, I really don't know. But I, I, I'm, uh, I'm moderating when I buy. I'll tell you that much. Now, Ken Windsor, we're going to change. That's not Monster Jam. And I had to talk about Monster Jam because it, it was such an impactful event two weeks ago or three weeks ago when I mentioned it on the weekend show, right? It was... I was getting private messages from dads, and they were posting in the Race Crews community, hey, my kid told me that Mattel's not doing uh, Monster Jam anymore. <laughs> so the impact's pretty large. Uh, anyways, move on. Kim Windsor, Ask Race Crews. Um, so he's talking about how hard it is to find super treasure hunts. And you know what? He works hard, and he figures, I'll just pay for the ones that he wants. Buy them offline. Online. Go for it. 
because you know why? Instead of spending all your time and money searching every day, every day, and you never, you don't find supers, how about you just go clock in for work, do some time at work, you earn your money, and then just pay for the super, right? You just wait for the one that you want, wait for the price to come down. It, they're harder to find, but it's not like they're that rare to where they're not too expensive to acquire. I am 100% in favor of people buying whatever they want online, right? If you want to buy supers or if you miss if you miss a certain Datsun wagon and you, somebody wants to sell it for five bucks, Five bucks plus shipping. I'm, I have no problem with that, right? Because you either have the time or you have the money, right? If you have to work, then you know what? Then you have to earn enough to where you can pay for what you do. Or you try to make the time to where you can go do the hunt. Uh, I'm 100% in favor. If you want to buy a super, I have no problem. But there's other people who say, I want to get it off the pegs. Go for it. But you're not no higher and mightier than somebody who has a job works and just decides you know what my time is worth money too and i'll just pay for the thing either way i don't care now james raw on instagram he used a hashtag hashtag he used a hashtag ask grace grooves and he wanted to know does mattel use paint codes from major auto manufacturers auto makers to be honest i don't know i don't i don't have the answer to this question i know johnny lightning does right because it shows on the package what color uh, color match, right? But Mattel, I would not be surprised if they did, because um, they even get the they even get the schematics for the cars even even before. Like if there's going to be a new Mux thing in 2018, they already have the CAD designs so that they can start working on the toy even the car, before the cars on the street. So I would not be surprised if they did use uh, authentic automotive colors. I just don't know if they actually do or not. Thank you for tuning in to another Race Screws Weekend Show. I hope you have a fantastic week. And I'm going to put the links for my other channels at the end of the video. Here, right here, we're at the end. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.